Did you know that there are well over 300 different breeds of dogs out there, and many of them with their own temperamental traits, behaviors, and unique characteristics that are specific to that breed? And well, certainly the Doberman is no exception. In fact, they're unique just for no other reason than simply just how different they are. All right, let's put this into perspective real quick. Let's per say your friend got a new car. Well, you're probably gonna wanna know, did your friend just get a car? Or did your friend get a car? So then I just gotta ask, are you gonna be one of those people who gets themselves, you know, a dog? Or are you gonna get yourself a dog? So let's jump straight into what makes the Doberman so unique from many other breeds. And we're gonna start off under the hood. Now up first is something you may not have thought of. It's emotional reactivity. Now Dobermans, they just react so well to their owner's emotions. They can detect their emotions and act accordingly. One example is maybe you're a little scared or frightened a little bit. You're gonna notice that your Doberman pup is gonna uh, alert, posture up, uh, be way quicker to be defensive. And this is especially true when they're out on a leash. Let's say one day maybe you're a little excited and feeling playful. You'll notice that your Doberman is gonna all of a sudden start bouncing off the walls and feeding into your energy and getting you hyped up to play with them. It's, it's almost like they feed directly off their owner's energy all the time. It's one of the reasons it's so easy to fall in love with this breed because you start to feel like your emotions are your dog's emotions too. Now number two, your personal space isn't really your personal space when you own a Doberman. They love to share personal space and of course, by share your personal space, I really kind of just mean take over your personal space. Now, there are some variations in this between the American Dobermans and the European Doberman, which is what Arlo here is. Uh, the American Doberman loves to share personal space, be right there on top of you. Um, they're just better at curling up in a tight ball and sharing with you. European Dobermans like Arlo here, um, they also love to be right on top of you um, and right there with you, but they're a little bit more space hogs. They like to kind of just stretch out and sprawl out and push you into the small corner of your bed. Um, but they both love being with you. They're both great shadows. And I mean, if you go into another room, you're not gonna be doing it alone. You go to the bathroom, uh, God forbid you grab your car keys and head for the door to go to work. Your Doberman is gonna be right there with you. And if you want a Doberman, you better get used to it. Now, the other thing that really sets a Doberman apart from other breeds, especially when it comes to just owning one as a pet, is their drive and determination. They have just truckloads and truckloads of it. And as long as you keep it in check with regular exercise and keeping it mentally stimulated, then um, it can actually be a huge benefit because they have that natural instinct to please their owners and complete a task that their owner has given them, which makes them one of the most trainable dogs absolutely in the world. Um, you know, it's funny when I'm working with uh, owners of Dobermans trying to help them with some issue of behavior or training issue with their dog. Um, I find that I get the best results when I just focus in on the owner, not even really the dog and how, how the owner is communicating with the dog. And as long as they're communicating in a way that um, dogs understand and that uh, a, a Doberman would understand, usually the dog just kind of falls right in line because they have that instinct. So really that's one of the best things about owning one of these dogs. Now, another cool feature of this breed that really sets them apart from many other dogs is they're always scanning and assessing their surroundings all the time. They're very aware of their situation and their surroundings. And it's actually a really cool feature left over under the hood of these dogs since their original creation in the late 1800s as a personal protection dog. And you know, whether you're in an unfamiliar situation or maybe you're out on a walk, uh, in the evening or you're at home alone, they're always aware of what's going on and they're gonna be quick to react if something comes up, um, which is a really cool thing about this breed. Look, have you ever been watching maybe like a creepy show on TV, like a ghost show or a paranormal show and you start to get that feeling like, you know, maybe you're not alone? Well, if you have a Doberman, you can breathe a sigh of relief because uh, you better believe that any creak on the floor, any little knock or noise in the house or anything is gonna be heard by your dog 
and quickly investigate it. It's part of their natural instincts. So you can breathe a sigh of relief, relax, watch all the creepy shows about Bigfoot or ghosts or night crawlers that you want, and you don't have to worry. Now another cool thing that sets these dogs apart is they're always trying to study and figure out their owners. And one way they do that is by making direct eye contact, um, which is actually really unique because uh, most dog breeds with direct eye contact like that, especially dog to dog, is considered a sign of aggression or, um, <laughs> or a sign of dominance. But in the Doberman world, it's really just them trying to figure out their owners. So it's a really cool thing. It's kind of off-putting for some people who aren't familiar with Dobermans because um, you know when they see a dog staring right in their eyes as they're talking to them, uh, it, they tend to come away with a feeling that they're like an aggressive dog, um, which is definitely not the case. Dobermans are the most loving, gentle, loyal dogs you'll ever find, but this is certainly something uh, that sets them apart. Now, another really cool feature of this breed is that they're super focused on their owners. And actually that's a really good quality because it makes teaching them things like off-leash training uh, way easier. They, they react to recall requests way more often, more consistently. Um, and you know, they're in a chaotic environment and they're out somewhere new. They're always going to be looking back and checking on their owner. It's strange. I, you know, I'll go to like a dog park and I'll see many other breeds of dogs. They'll just kind of, they'll wander off and go play. Arlo or any other doorman I've known uh, will run for a while and stop and look back and check on their owner. Stop and look back and check on their owner. And part of that is they're reading their owner's emotions. If their owner's calm and relaxed, they know that they can be calm and relaxed. If the owner's uptight and intense, they're gonna get a little bit more defensive. So it's a cool feature. One of my favorite things to do with my old Doberman Cooper was to go on backpacking trips with him, multiple days out in the woods. Uh, he was great. I never had him on a leash. There was no need to. He would always stick right with us on the trail, even though there was a whole forest he could disappear into. So that's actually, a really cool thing about these dogs that they're so hyper focused on their owners. Now these are just some of the things that I've noticed about the Doberman breed as compared to other breeds, but there's certainly other unique aspects about these dogs uh, that I didn't touch on. And actually to help me out, I invited my good buddy Derek over there from the YouTube channel, Derek554. Hey Derek, why don't you help me out here, buddy? What's up guys? I am honored to be here on John's channel. John, thank you so much for having me and asking me this amazing question, which is how are Dobermans different than any other dogs? So if you guys didn't know, my name is Derek and I am a dog dad myself. I have two dogs, I have a pit bull and a Doberman. So the two traits of the Doberman that stand out in this breed more than any other dog, to me has gotta be loyalty and intelligence. He's always by my side and always checking in on me. And if I run away, he's gonna run too. Not only are these dogs loyal, they are extremely intelligent. So underrated on how smart these dogs are. So along with Cyber being very intelligent, he's very eager to please, which means it's very easy to train him things. He learns very fast. But at the same time, he can be so smart that he'll outsmart me sometimes. There was this one time I was sitting in Cyber's favorite spot on the couch and he was whining like, get out of my spot, get out of my spot. And I was just chilling there. So then Cyber like huffed and puffed and he grabbed his ball and he dropped it. So it purposely rolled under the table. And as soon as I got up to go get it for him, he took my spot. To me, that just sums up the Doberman's intelligence perfectly. John, I'm taking up a lot of your video time. I'm sorry. It was uh, truly an honor to be here. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of this community. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, thank you, Derek, man. You are always welcome here. I love your channel. Guys, if you haven't seen Derek before, uh, Derek554 is his channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description down below as well. He goes on lots of crazy and fun adventures with his Pitbull uh, Cami and his Doberman Cyber. So if you haven't seen him before, go check him out. Guys, if you love learning about the Doberman breed, maybe you're considering getting a Doberman or you just want some occasional training tips, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon that comes up. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you won't miss any of my videos. And I always try to put at least one or two super useful nuggets of information in every single video I do so that it's worth watching. So check out some of the other videos on my channel while you're here. And if you would, consider sharing this video. Uh, maybe some other people who don't know why the Doberman is so unique and different as compared to other dogs. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time apart from many other breeds is they're always scanning. Uh oh. <laughs> Good boy. What was that? Are you a deer? Good boy. Good boy. Ah, good boy. Stay on this time. Okay, stay on the ottoman this time. But it is kind of off-putting to some people who aren't familiar with Dobermans. Jeez. 
you okay, buddy? Are you okay? You gotta be careful. 